Okay, I get first pick because I'm going to be player four. Let's see. Who... Hey, chat, any preferences on a leader pick? If you let me know in time, I will take it into consideration. It's not going to be the Baron, because uh, I played the Baron last time. Leto? All right, let's do Leto. Your wish is my command, Lucifer Winchester. Let's take a look at the Imperium Row. Sometimes I forget you can do that. All right, a couple Bene Gesserit cards in here, Missionara Protectiva and Gene Manipulation. I do like that Gene Manipulation a lot um, because it lets you trash. Just by itself, that's nice. Uh, reveals for two Persuasion. And if you do happen to have another Bene Gesserit card, it gets you Spice, which is really nice. We've got the Spice Hunter which uh, I don't tend to use that much. It's it's all right. I mean, it can take you to the Freeman spaces, which is important. Arrakis Recruiter is something I was... I used to buy that card all the time when I first started playing the game. Um, but these days, I tend to lean more towards an Arrakis Liaison for two. Spice Smugglers uh, can be a very nice card. All right. Let's put that away. All right, so we've got Bombadillum as Count Ilban Richet. There are his abilities, in case you're not aware. When he pays Solari for a board space, he draws a card, and his signet ring gets him one Solari. So he draws a card when he goes to High Council, Mentat, Rally Troops, or Swordmaster. We've got Doc 66 6 or Doc 5i, on Earl Memnon Torvald, Thorvald. Um, Spice Horde gets a Spice when playing the Signet Ring, and when he gets the High Council seat, it's a one-time bonus of one influence wherever he likes. And we've got Hitzer 22 on Helena Richet's, who has eyes everywhere, cannot be blocked by enemy agents at Landsrat or City Spaces, and the cool Manipulate Signet Ring ability, which lets her uh, reserve a card from the Imperium Row, and if she wants to, she can buy it for one persuasion fewer than normal. And of course, we have me, Bludgeon, on Duke Leto Atreides, who is very popular in the Landsrad. So sending an agent to uh, Landsrad space is one Solari cheaper, which is pretty cool. And Prudent Diplomacy Signet Ring. You can pay one spice to gain an influence with a faction where you are behind. Okay. Uh, Zenus car is it care like character or is it char like burning? Um, one thing I noticed in your games is that you always go for Swordmaster first. I find there is a case to be made to go for Council first though to score better cards in the early game. Um, yeah, that's totally fair. Occasionally I will do it if there's like a really tasty card available. Sometimes I will get the um, High Council first. But you're right, I do tend to go for the Swordmaster first just because um, I just I really value the extra actions as fast as I can get them. And I can kind of, I can maybe get the High Council seat with one of those extra actions from the Swordmaster. So to me, it, it feels like it makes more sense to do it in that order most of the time, if possible. But um, it's certainly not always true. Sometimes it is better to get a High Council early. And, uh, you know, I, I certainly don't have this game figured out. You know, it's what I love about it is, you know, you can play it a lot, but there's still a lot of things to to learn and to try out, different strategies that can be done. All right, so I was wondering if somebody was going to do that. All right. So... Normally when I look at a hand like this, I want to use the Diplomacy and the Seek Allies. Um, but it is good to have a bit of spice on Leto as well, just so that the Signet Ring can be activated. Um, 
but I'm going to do this to start with. You don't know how your name's supposed to be pronounced because it was auto-generated? All right, fair enough, but how do you say it? I'm, I'm thinking this is Doc VV. I was thinking it was Doc 66, but this is a capital V here, so I'm gonna say VV. So with my next play, we shall see. This is worth a victory point, a water, and a spice. Those are obviously all nice to get, but I don't want to invest super heavily. Um, there's nothing I'm absolutely dying for in this, although by the time my turn comes around, some of these cards might be replaced, so... There is an argument for, like, sending my dagger up to... Whoa, early reveal from Memnon? That is... Pretty bizarre, I've got to say. Okay, so there's a fiver there now. So there is maybe an argument for me going up to Hall of Oratory to try to get that carry-all. Maybe. Well, okay. Helena beat me to it. Do I want to put in some troops here? I have the one dagger, so there's a chance that... There's a chance I could tie Ilbon for first. Um, or maybe even win with this dagger. Maybe. He does have an entry card. It'd be nice to sneak a victory point. I'm kind of tempted to do it. I'm going to try this. I don't know how great a plan this is. I could have also gone to Hardy Warriors if I really wanted to do it, but I want to get the spice as well. Um... So, I don't know. Maybe I can steal first place with this dagger. No, I can't. But I'm going to tie. So at least Ilbon's not going to get the point. And we're both going to get a water. Hey, Fabinu, good to see you. Um, if you don't use the Diplomacy and the Seek Allies, do you ever use the Diplomacy instead? Um, yeah, it's a good question. I think sometimes it is worth doing that. If, let's say, you don't mind losing the persuasion and you want to increase your chances of drawing like a faction space later, then it can make sense to use the diplomacy instead. Hmm. All right, with three, I think I like the Imperial Spy here. So I'm going to do that. And I... Ooh, look at that. I don't think I want this. Because I'm I'm not feeling like I'm going to get a lot of Bene Gesserit cards. So I'm going to pass on that. Yeah, faction access is very important. Okay, we both get a water, which is... You know, I don't mind that. Basically, I got back the water that I put into this spice. Um, I made sure Ilbon didn't get a victory point. I had a chance of getting it myself, and now I have spice to spend on this signet ring if I want to. Um, alternatively, I could even go to sell Melange. If I, you know what? If I hit sell Melange, that gives me enough for Swordmaster this turn. So I think that's my play. 
It means I'm not going to be able to activate the signet ring, but that's okay. Yeah, the Seek Allies into Fold Space definitely can be a good play. It is nice to get that extra faction access um, back into your deck. I tend to prioritize the Solari if I can. Um, just because I, you know, I want to get the Swordmaster or the High Council seat if I can, usually. Dameko, hello. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so this is actually looking pretty good here because I think Memnon wants to go to Selmalange. Um, but I'm going to do it myself. So I'm going to send... It doesn't really matter which way I do it. But yeah, turn to a Swordmaster is great. Nice spice collection there. And, um, yeah, in my head, I was just forgetting that I'm I'm going to be able to actually use the Swordmaster this turn also. So that means I'm going to want to... Oh, a voice. I'm going to want to use the Dune to get the Selma Lange, the Dagger to Swordmaster, and then the Signet Ring is a more versatile card to use later. So let me do this. Yeah. Okay, Ilbon hitting up Hardy Warriors. Does he throw in four troops? It's a pretty good prize. Three? Okay. I think that makes sense, because he does still have another agent if he wants to throw in more later. But at the moment, this is probably good enough. Um, I mean, he could be overtaken, right? If somebody... Or at least he could be... Yeah, he'd be overtaken by Helena if she visits one of these spaces. Okay. Doc Vivi going for the Hall of Oratory. I mean, there are some really nice cards here right but right now. Even these three cards are all pretty good. Stilgar, um, you know, getting water when you play him is great, but the reveal effect is really nice. Obviously, Opulence is a really nice card to get. Um, this Guild Ambassador is not bad at all, either. I will not be able to get any of those nice cards here, I don't think, but... Alright, let's grab the Swordmaster for seven. Yeah, they've said they're targeting Summer for Rise of Ix on here. Um, which is cool. Like, I think it's it's really nice to have this time with the base game. Because Rise of Ix is cool, but the base game is just fucking brilliant. And I think sometimes it gets, in a way, it gets kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Unappreciated. Due to just throwing expansions on. 
Um, but, you know, this game by itself is so good, it deserves to be played. Okay. I think I want to go to secure contract. I think, because that will get me enough Solari to get high council seat next turn. And it'd be nice to just get those things both out of the way. Early. Um, the other option is I, I could, you know, maybe get second here, which is not bad, but it's one Solari off. Now, I'm going to be left with only three Persuasion, which is too bad. I'd like to get this Guild Ambassador, but that's just not how it's going to work because I, I want to get this Solari, so I'm just going to do it. Unfortunately, I cannot trigger that. I don't have the Spice. Do I think they'll charge for the expansion? Yes, they will charge for it. Um, okay. I have three. Do I want to get a recruiter or... Nah, let's do a liaison. Okay. Knife asks, do I personally experience the advantage of second player? I honestly, I, I don't know. I haven't been keeping track of like, you know, is it better to be first, second, third, or fourth? I, I really don't know. Um, okay, so Ilbon takes this. So he gets two different uh, faction influence. Okay. Takes Freeman and Emperor. Garatam, hey, nice to see you. You've been binging the YouTube vids? Good stuff, thank you. Thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in. All right, Secure Imperial Basin. This is one that I would like to win, but I'm not really well set up to do so. I could I could maybe hit up a Hardy Warriors, um, but I wanna get the High Council seat, and I think I have to do it with my first agent because otherwise, well, I guess Ilban can't do it. He's short of Solari. But um, Helena might do it on her second agent. So yeah, I have to do it now. And so that unfortunately has to be the signet ring, which I'm once again not going to be able to trigger. That's one thing that when I play Leto, I don't get a lot of, I tend not to get much use out of his signet ring. Um, it's hard to fit the spice in along with all the other things I'm doing. Yeah, I think I just have to do that. I, I don't want to use the liaison because I think I want to try to get the persuasion. I want to keep the persuasion high if I can. So. I would love to do this first, but if I do that, I'm not going to get this high council seat. So we'll just do it. And that's that. I might be able to get this opulence. That would be very nice. So what I'm looking at uh, at the moment, he would have gone Swordmaster. Yeah, you're probably right about that. You're probably right about that. Maybe I, maybe I could have gotten away with it. But, yeah, you're, you're probably right. There's a chance maybe she would have done it to try to snag, you know, the opulence, but oh well.
Oh, well, it's at least, it's been secured. Um, with my remaining cards, probably I'm gonna wanna send a diplomacy to still suits if it's there. Okay, so Doc Vivi going to conspire. He's been blocked on the Salmelange two rounds in a row. So he's gonna have to settle for that. It's not as good of a deal in terms of just Solari, right? Four Solari gets you, or four Spice gets you 10 Solari over here. It only gets you five over here. So he doesn't have enough for a Swordmaster yet, but um, I think he's sick of waiting for that space. It's also, I mean, it's it's good to get the Emperor's Influence bump, get the Chip Troops, get the Entry card. It's not bad at all. Um, I think I think I want to do Still Suits. I'm not really hurt. I'm not... I mean, getting some Solari would be good to start Mentatting for one. Um, but... And also fight for this. But I think I need to... Fold space is an option as well, for sure. Um, but I'm going to do this, get another water, open up potential spice, and, you know, try to get Siege Tabor available as well. Do I want to throw in a troop here? I think I do. Because maybe I can get something. Monk58, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Nightbass, you bought this two days ago because of my YouTube videos. Well, that's cool. I'm curious what made, what brought you to the YouTube videos? Were you, have you played the board game? Okay, Doc Vivi going for Mentat. And uh, <laughs> Zenus Care, that's interesting that YouTube randomly suggested this. So what kind of stuff do you, like, how did that happen? Do you watch other board game stuff? I'm just curious how these suggestions happen. It's interesting to me. Ah, opulent snagged. Oh, that hurts. Okay. So that... Hmm. That's interesting then. Because I was hoping to stay on six to get that opulence, but it's been taken from me. So I could use the liaison instead of the dune if I wanted to. Or I could just get three spice right now. Or maybe I could wait till next turn and that might be worth four. Yeah, I think maybe I'll do that. So I'm gonna use the liaison because the persuasion is like kind of whatever at the moment. And maybe I'll just get myself an Intrigue card. I think I'm... I could try to tie up Ilbon. But he still has three cards in hand. He has two Intrigues. I think I'm just going to be satisfied with that. It's two water for one troop. It's pretty good. And he did have a sword. So that alone would have negated my other troop. Okay, I think I made the right call. Uh... 
think I might use this refocus to try to get another persuasion to get that gurney. I'd love to get that gurney Halleck. Oh. Uh-huh. So there are four cards that will help me, two that won't. Uh, Zenas, no, I did not get the opulence. It was it was snagged. So because of that, I decided I didn't need to be on six persuasion. But then this gurney Alec popped up. So I'm going to try to get them by using the refocus. I've got a two to one, two to one odds of, of succeeding. And on actually, even if I get a dagger, that might be okay too, because that might help me get second here. Ah, I really wanted a persuasion. Well, it's unfortunate. Hopefully that gets me second. Okay, so I have five persuasion now. I think I like this ambassador for getting me some spice and, and or um, the guild influence. Uh, it's, it's sad. But that's how it goes. All right, let's hope Doc VV doesn't have any swords on reveal. And maybe that dagger will come in handy. I'd, I'd feel better about it. Oh, three swords. <laughs> okay. So they're going to tie for first. Hey, that's actually great for me because that means nobody gets that point or control of Imperial Basin. Um, at least that's what it is right now. They still have intrigue cards that could change, but that would be quite nice. I'll end up with one water for my one troop, which is fine. No intrigue card, Doc Vivi. Please no. Okay, great. Very good. <laughs> Everybody's got a ton of water right now. All right. Um, what do I want to do? I think this is the better play. Three spice for one water. I think that's better than four spice for two water. I'll let these guys blow their water on this. Uh, I'm going to not put in my little troop at this time. Twilight Struggle is a great digital adaptation. Is that right? That game is really good. I haven't played it in a long time. But, um, yeah, I had a buddy I used to play that with once in a while. It was very, very cool. I think we probably only played, like, three times or something, unfortunately, but we loved it. It's a great... It's a two-player game. Very cool. Very, very thematic. Um, it's, you know, it takes, it's complex. It takes a long time to, to learn and play the first game or two is a lot of different things to figure out, but it is very cool. Twilight Struggle Red Sea. How, what's the deal with that? Okay, with my two 
remaining agents. Five past. Hey, welcome to the chat. Labyrinth. I'm familiar with the movie and I'm familiar with like the, you know, the handheld wooden game where you try to roll a metal ball around and get it to the end. Um, so my plan here is to use the Imperial Spy to go to Wealth, to go up that influence, get two Solari, and then trash it for an Intrigue. Um, but it's possible that I maybe should use the Reconnaissance first while these spaces are still available. It's hard to say. Um, I don't know if anybody else is really desperate slash can go to wealth. Again, I would like to get this gurney, so maybe... Hey, wait. Helena didn't get the Swordmaster last round. That was kind of strange. I think, yeah, I think instead she decided to early reveal and get that opulence. That was the decision she made there. I think, is that right? I don't know. Maybe, no, because she used both her agents, I think. All right, uh, I'm considering using Reconnaissance to Arakeen just to get another card in my hand to try to see if I can make this gurney happen. Uh, I'm going to do it. The Sardaukar Legion wouldn't be terrible either. What did I get? A dagger? No, I got a convincing argument. Okay, great. There's a lot of stuff still to happen here. I'm going to hold off on that. Um, I feel like my troops... I don't know. Maybe one would have been okay. But I don't know. I'm letting them chill a bit. Osmo, you appreciate the digital version because it's faster. Your friends are AP heavy analysis paralysis. Yeah. I mean, that can be rough. I mean, especially the first couple of games of this. I mean, that's just like a guarantee, I find. Um, are they still that way even after playing like many, many games? Okay, so Ilbon, who I thought was not much of a threat for the combat, ended up going to Hardy Warriors, so I'm I'm feeling better about not throwing troops in. Memnon going to research station. Probably some troops are going to go in here. I think it's looking pretty good for me getting this Gurney Halleck here, but you never know. Helena might use a Signet Ring and just set him off to the side. Um, so that could happen. Okay, it hasn't happened. All right, so the Spy is going up here. 
We'll get ahead on this track. Um, get some Solari to fuel, you know, maybe a Mentat or a Rally Troops in the future. And let's just grab an entry card. Okay, that's a good one to have. I'm not going to do it now, but it's a handy card to have. So, there it is for those of you who don't know. For one Solari, you can delete somebody else's troop and add one of yours in from your supply. It's, it's quite nice. Now, keep in mind, it's a plot card, so you can't do it once the conflict is actually like on, you have to do it, you know, usually during your reveal is when you would do that. But it's a very nice little surprise. So that's another reason I'm happy I have some Solari is to just, you know, random things need money. I'm surprised Ilbon is getting blocked here, like, He's annoyed that Helena didn't get the Swordmaster last round, I think. But he could have gotten it this round, right? Because I was the first player. Maybe he just didn't have a green card. He did. Why didn't... Why didn't he get his Swordmaster? I don't know. That's a mystery. I played a game of Rise of Ix the other night. I think I've played three, three games of Rise of Ix now. And, you know, I'm still kind of figuring it out. All right. Uh, we're just going to reveal and pick up Monsieur Halek. Hold on. What's this? Hello. <laughs> okay. All right. That's a nice card to get. Happy to have Gurney join the team. Very thematic as well. Fairly even points so far at round four in this game. Not much has been going on over here, I've noticed. What do I have? I only have diplomacy and I guess guild ambassador that can, well, I guess my signet ring theoretically could do things for me there, but it hasn't been. Zenith Care, um, I mentioned a Discord server once. Uh, yeah, so the, the Direwolf Discord server. Um, if you just look up like Direwolf Digital on Google and maybe just Direwolf Digital Discord, um, you'll find it. Ooh, do fear how what? Do fear, do fear. Do fear's a fine fellow. I think do fear is one of my favorite cards in the game. He's just so good. Takes you anywhere you want to go except the green spaces. Draws you a card while he does it, and if for some reason you don't want to do any of those things, it gives you an entry card. So nice. All right, so if I had thrown in a troop there, I might have gotten to Solari, but um, that's okay. Another tie. There's been so many ties. I think three out of the four conflicts have been ties at this point. Okay. Okay. 
Bombadillum grabs the Swordmaster finally, draws a card for doing so. Um, what am I going to want to do? I might send this guild ambassador up to Mentat. <clears throat> and the question is going to be, do I take the spice or do I take the influence? I think it's probably the influence at this point. Um, the diplomacy, I think I want to send to still suits because I'd like to unlock this. But there is an argument to be made for going to fold space to try to get ahead on this. Um, maybe work my way towards that alliance. Now, is there a way for me to get this conflict? I mean, if I go to Hardy Warriors, that would that would help. But it still wouldn't be a guarantee. Both of these characters have four troops. A Hardy Warriors plus a double cross could potentially do it. Hmm. What's this card? Okay. <clears throat> That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take... Ah. Yeah, anyways, I was I had some crazy plan in my head, but I forgot what was going on there. Hell, okay. What's hell? Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. <clears throat> All right. Now, this time I do want to use the signet ring for an influence. So this could be... This could be a, a good time to get that Freeman bump with the signet ring. Maybe the diplomacy to fold space. First game, all right, that's cool. A juicy two spice waiting for me in the basin? Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> that would have been nice for sure. Um, okay, my hmm. So that's interesting. Doc Vivi now is out of agents, so he's not going to be getting into this conflict. It's just Helena. She has a couple of troops left. Okay, he is putting in one. I have a lot of agents still.
Yeah, so I'm thinking about a few different things. I'm still thinking about sending the diplomacy to Fold Space because I think I'd like to try to get up that alliance and maybe try to um, get victory points out of this guild ambassador. And then I'm, I'm looking to get, I think, this point with the Freeman with the Signet Ring. But where do I want to send the Signet Ring? I'm not too sure at the moment. Probably Arakane, if I can. He trashed a Thopter. Oh yeah, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> probably not. Probably not intentional, but he did say it was his first game. I think this is pretty safe. I think I can use the Signet Ring first, and yeah, I think it's going to be Arakeen because I want another card. Because with all these agents, I'd like to have a little bit more flexibility. I think. So let me do this. Uh, let me get my card first and see what it is. Ooh, a convincing argument. Okay, that's cool. Let's get that done. Do I want to deploy troops? I could put in three here. Helena could potentially put in more, but if she does, I can double cross her. You know what? I'm going to try for it. Getting a point and trashing a card would be cool. So, we'll see. Yeah, I think I, the fold space is pretty appealing to me. Oh, maybe it's going to get taken by this. Where are you going? Conspire. Okay. Wow. Okay, he really wants the Solari. But yeah. Ah. I'm a little bit annoyed by that. Oh, wow. Okay, at least I'm still ahead. Well, what are you gonna do? Thufir is not, he's not joining the team this time. Ooh, that is really good. Okay. So, the double cross might be enough. It's not necessarily enough, depending on what kind of swords she's working with. Like, if I wanted to make sure, then I could go to Hardy Warriors um, or even one of these spots. But no, I want this fold space, so I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to wait till the reveal to see if this is going to be enough, right? Because the nice thing is, with my extra agent here, I mean, I can still do more things. But I get to see exactly what everyone's working with in terms of their combat strength. Helena's going to reveal these five cards. And so I'll see, do I need to you know, send this liaison to Carthag, throw in another troop. Hey, Night Bass. Is it Night Bass or Night Base? Anyway, thank you for the follow. Night Bass, okay. Does she have the Solari to trigger the Opulence? No, okay, she's at 10. So the double cross actually should be good enough.
because she'll go down to eight, I'll go up to eight, and then with my dagger, that'll put me to nine, and she has no intrigue cards. But it's gonna, yeah, ooh. A power play, I definitely want that. And it's mine for the taking, so that's really nice. I think I'm, I'm still gonna use the liaison, I think. And hit up Carthag just to get myself another entry card. And another troop, even though I don't actually need to put the troop in with this. Now, does Memnon have some big entry card? Maybe, but... That's a nice one to have. Okay, so I'm not deploying that, right? Minus two, plus two, plus one. I should be good there. <laughs> and let's grab this power play. What is this, though? I mean, it's only a difference of four. There's definitely cards that could do it. No? Okay. Very nice. All right, so that gets me the victory point. And I get to trash a card, which is quite good. Happy to do that. Uh, at this point, I think the dagger probably could go. Nice. Cloak and dagger. Okay, there's Mr. Halleck. All right. My power play, my fold space, and my diplomacy are all in my discard pile. There's a pretty good chance I'll draw one next turn. Uh, I'd like to get to six spice for next round, but I don't think I can. I mean, maybe I can. If I go to the Great Flat and... You know, if I get second or third, then that would get me to six spice. Hmm. Um, because I'd like to be able to get to Hayliner next round. Now, Helena has enough spice and she's the first player next round. So she, you know, will have the first crack at it. The flat may have four spice next turn. That is true, but that's a round I'm gonna have to, a turn I'm gonna have to spend next turn getting it. Where I wanna be able to just go Hayliner. Um, hmm. But it that is an interesting thing to think about. Because Helena already has eight, so if she has the card, then me getting the spice won't matter. And if she doesn't, then I will have time, I suppose, so. Yeah. That's interesting. I think I'm gonna do this. Oh, hello.
turn eight also has a conflict, but you know, maybe I can end it on round seven if I can win it. All right, so where do I want to send this power play? I'm thinking maybe wealth, get that alliance. Cause I have a, hmm. can I get a spice must flow somehow? I mean, if I go to research station, yeah, but then I'm kind of messing up my next round. If I go to fold space with it, that gets me that alliance. Um, which potentially lets me start triggering the ambassadors, but I'm not really I'm not really ready to throw spice into him, I don't think. And I think I can get that alliance without using the power play, but I think this is the way. Yeah, the the troops are are pretty handy right now. And daggering to Halt of Oratory for a Spice Must Flow. Yeah, I think that's I think that's what I'm looking to do. Austrian Alucard, greetings, fellow carbon-based units. <laughs> yes, greetings to you. Greetings to us all. Um Yeah, that is what I want to do. We'll see if somebody blocks me. I don't really want to use the infiltrate on that because I want to save it for potentially like haylinering next turn, even if Helena goes to hayliner. So this is what I'm looking at for next round. Um, I'm guaranteed to get at least one of the diplomacy and the fold space. So I will have a card that can take me there. And I will have a card that can take me to the Great Flat. It'll be interesting to see what happens here. So if I can win this, where do I want to take that, that point? Maybe the guild? I think it's the guild. Yeah, if I, if I can win this, I want to take it to the guild because then let's say I do Hayliner, I can get the Alliance, get a point there. And, you know, it's getting me pretty close to 10.
So hopefully this olive oratory doesn't get taken by Helena here. Okay. She goes to Arakane. What does she want to do with it? Now, using this dagger does slightly reduce my chances of winning this conflict, and I, I would like to win it, but um, it's better to just make sure I get a Spice Must Flow and take the chance. And an extra troop for next round, you know, that doesn't hurt. Ticking clock. I hope they can fix that. Bombadillum getting the high council seat. Doc VV only has one point right now. It's a little bit sad, but hey, first game, you know, he's trying things out, so no worries there. Reveal the spice, it must flow. A couple of nice cards have popped up in this Imperium row while I wasn't really watching. Ilbon has two swords. Ah, ties me for first. So there's where the the loss of that dagger up here hurts a little bit. Uh, you know, maybe with the intrigue cards though, it wouldn't have mattered. But yeah, I would have I would have enjoyed winning that. Absolutely, that would have been helpful. But I had to do what I had to do. When you gotta flow, you gotta flow. <laughs> okay, well, the good news is I'm gonna get a spice, which means I'll be able to use my signet rings ability. And what's the entry card? Okay. I mean, that's nice. We'll see how this goes. What are we fighting over? Okay, battle for Arakeen. No one controls that, I don't think. So, does she have the Hayliner? not looking great for a spice must flow 
for me. Ooh, does not have a hayliner access. Okay, that, that is good. That is very good. So I think it's Signet Ring here. Get an influence with the Bene Gesserit. Or... Part of me wants to wait and see if Ilbon goes ahead of me here. I could save a water and grab the three spice, but then I don't have the spice to activate the signet ring, which I think I'd like to do. Three agents, maybe four. I have to do this now. Okay, I think I have to do it like this. So if I win this, I should be able to get, as long as I can hit secrets, if one of these cards gold goes to fold space and one of them goes to secrets, then I get to 10, as long as I win. Um, and in fact, in fact, I can maybe get to 11. If I guilt, if uh, the Mentat is gone. <sighs> okay, well, that makes sense that Ilbon would take it, but I would have loved to have gotten the Mentat with the Guild Ambassador. Because then I could have gotten to actually, I could have taken this alliance as well. Haymaker, yeah, it is a haymaker. So I think if it depends, going to rally troops, okay. I think I need to go to secrets first because at the moment, nobody else can visit Hayliner as far as I'm aware, unless they've got secret spice intrigue cards, but there's a danger that somebody might go to secrets here. And I need that to win this turn. Hey, Champignon Magic. Thanks for the follow. Nice to see you. <laughs> Champignon Magic. All right. So let me do this. Okay. 
Okay, interesting. Do I want to trash that? No. We'll draw this card. We'll take that. Draw the card. End the turn. I'm trying to think if there's a way to get Spice Must Flow with this potentially, but I don't think so. Anybody here into Pearl Jam? I've had Pearl Jam stuck in my head lately. I just listened to um, one of their albums called Backspacer. It's from probably 12 years ago or something, but it's a good one. Yeah, even if somebody does go to Hayliner, I can still go for sure. Which I guess was also true with Secrets, now that you mention it. So I guess I wasn't in any big danger, but I think that was still the better play to do that one first. I got some if you need it. I got some if you need it. Champignon magic made me think of that line. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm very sorry, Doc Nevy. You feel like you're finally going to get some points here, but... Well, Doc Nevy has four intrigue cards. How did I not steal one? Did just, where did he just get one? Carthag. Okay. Windfall. All right. So I have a feeling Helena is going to be triggering an opulence pretty soon for a point. This game is pretty much in the bag. It feels that way. It's looking pretty good. This is what I meant when I said like, you know, yeah, there are conflicts on round eight, but yeah, we might not make it there. We might not make it there. All right. I mean, Dog BB does have four intrigues. There could be, there could be a massive load of swords being pumped in here. Oh, okay. Ilbon taking that guild alliance. You never know. You never know. It's a little bit weird how they display enemy intrigues or enemy alliances above their victory points there, but for you, it puts them down here. I feel like it would make more sense to just be consistent with that. All right, Doc VV doubled, doubled his victory points. What did he do to get that? Oh, a spice must flow, okay. All right, well, unfortunately... Oh, interesting, so I can't use... Okay, this is something to keep in mind, which I, I knew this rule, but I kind of forgot about it. The poison snooper says, look at the top card of your deck, draw it or trash it, trash it. I have zero cards in my deck, so there is no top card of my deck. I can't use it. 
All right. Um, so just in case there is another round, I'm going to want this power play because maybe I can steal that guild alliance with it. I mean, it's it's well within reach, right? It's only a five strength difference with four intrigues. Now, at only one spice, that does limit the possibilities there. But it could, you know, it's possible. If he just has two, like, you know, three boosts, three sword boosts, that would do it. I think there's also one that just gives you a straight four. Let's see. Ooh, what's it gonna be? Sylvain, is it over? Sylvain, what do you think? Okay, he thinks it's over. No, there's one. Sylvain, no. J'ai peur, j'ai peur. Est-ce qu'il y a un autre? <laughs> oh no! He does it! <laughs> All right. All right, so we do go to round eight. Ooh, lost by one strength. Oh man. Okay, well, now I've got to choose between these options. Um, okay, I'm going to be the first player, so I will be able to... I want Spice. I don't think I care about the Solari too much. I think I'd rather have another Entry card. Um, the Solari would let me rally troops. Which could be important, but I'm gonna do it like this. Hey, Graf Han, nice to see you. You watched all the YouTube vids. Well done, there are a lot of them. All right, uh, so we're playing for a grand vision here. So it's not a two pointer. Well, I have to go take this Alliance right now. That's, that's for sure. Um, and I need to get rid of one of these cards so I don't get gods. Let me just use my poison snooper right now. Um, I mean, I might as well draw it at this point. Alternatively, I go here and get this alliance where I can't be challenged on it. This one, he could theoretically take it back if he wins this conflict. But no, let's do it like this. And then maybe I can sneak a point with the ambassador at the end of the turn. Zama's <laughs> care you've almost watched all of them as well. Yeah, the Dune ones, right? There, so I've got like a bunch of um, videos on the channel from like six years ago, five six years ago, when I was doing some commentating for uh, amateur Heroes of the Storm games, which that was a lot of fun. Um, sometimes I think about maybe getting back into that. I enjoyed that a lot. But yeah, I'm assuming when you say you watched all the videos you haven't watched all of the Heroes of the Storm matches on the channel. Any reason to draw three cards and go for the flow? Yeah, I think that probably makes a lot of sense. Um, I, I do need to get some spice, right? So spice gets me a point here and or here. Uh, hmm. 
I I don't want Ilbon to win this because he could take this alliance back. So possibly also I want to... Do I use the ambassador to get that point so that he can't take it back? Okay, big water alive. I basically am nowhere here, right? I mean, I could rally troops, but... I think, yeah, I think I want to lock the alliance. Um... Garrettum, did some of them, did some of the Dune videos get taken down? Um, yeah, I did, I did take down some of the early ones where the audio was kind of rough. Like I was still using this like, this like little like headset mic and there was no noise suppression on. So it seemed a bit rough to me. I was like, um, hey, juicy use. Thank you for the follow. Okay, let me play this round. I, want, I need spice. I want to draw cards. I need to use this. Maybe a Mentat wouldn't be the worst. I think... Yeah. We'll see if that's still there. Hmm. You think Helena has the intrigue to deploy all the troops? I mean, maybe. She's got 11 in the garrison. There's only one more possible she could get. Um, so yeah, I, I, I took down maybe five-ish of the older Dune YouTube videos. They're still there. I just made them private. Um, I think what I might do is, like, I just kind of don't want them to be someone's first impression of the channel, you know? Um, so I thought I would take them down now that there's so many other videos available. And what I might do is, like, once I've got um, memberships open on the YouTube channel, I'll, I might make them just, like, members only. So people who already know they like the channel, you know, can watch them if they want. And, um, you know, they won't get they won't get turned off. It'll just be like a little extra bonus or something. Redub them all. <laughs> that would be funny. You know, I kind of thought of something like that, like, but you know, it would be very weird. It, that would be really funny though. I'd have to like make a transcript of everything I say <laughs> redub it. I should redub it in another language. <laughs> way, way easier to make new ones, but I, that's a hilarious idea. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I Yeah, I think I want to hit research station. I think that's the move. I do need to get two spice if I want to get this thing happening, though. Uh, it's kind of... All right, I'm doing this. Okay, hello. Hello. Well, we've got Spice Must Flow money. Uh, okay, let's see. What happens if Helena wins this? Can she steal anything from me? No, no, no. Yes. She could potentially steal this from me. So that's not good. I need to get to 11 points. Can I get to 11 points? I can if I get some Spice.
or I just diplomacy here so that that's not an option to take. If, okay, if Ilbon wins, I'm good, right? He can't take this from me, he can't take this from me, whatever, whatever. I'm So I'm kind of happier if Ilbon wins it. All right, so. I think game is over, bludgeon two. And maybe that's if. <laughs> yeah, well, you're right, Bombadillum. You are right. It's not necessarily over if, you know. How about a challenge for next team? Try to get the the uh, High Council before Swordmaster? Maybe. We'll see. It's all it's all kind of situational, but I'm open to it. We'll see. The real challenge is no Swordmaster. Yeah, you know what? Um, in the la in last week's stream uh, that I did on YouTube, which is up there as uh, live play number nineteen, I think I actually did. I did win a game with no Swordmaster. But it is a challenge. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty rare. But it can work. All right, so she's putting in three more troops here. So Okay, so yeah, I'm, I have to treat this as basically gone. So even sending the diplomacy here doesn't save me anymore because if she wins, she can pop over the top. So I have to get this spice so that I can use my sleeper must awaken. I think, right? There's no other way for me to get a point somewhere. What? Oh, I have no water. <gasps> oh, I have no water. Oh no, I'm okay. Oh no. I have to hope Ilbon can win this because <laughs> otherwise I'm, oh, I messed, I'm in trouble otherwise. Is there anything else I can do here that would be good? Get the one spice in the basin? Oh, the spice must flow reveal. Yeah, thank you guys. Ooh. Thank you very much. Ooh. Chat saves the day there. Garrett, Tom, and Lucifer. Yeah. Good eye. Good eye. Good eye. Oh, and Night Bass. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Good eyes, all three of you. I appreciate that. Saved the day.
Doc VV ended up with some points here, right? He was at one for a long time. Yep. Saw that opulence point coming. Yeah, he did win the 2VP point last last round. Um, and then managed to get a Spice Must Flow, I think. Okay, so... Reveal. Spice Must Flow. And... The Sleeper Must Awaken. And he doesn't realize that Helen is going to steal that alliance from me, but... Um, there's not really... I guess I would rather have third and maybe get Spice for a potential tiebreaker. Sylvain, I think we're going to do it. I was celebrating too soon there. <laughs> the Grand Vision. So, yeah, she can take the alliance from me. Snow Toad, you're just in time. Um, yeah. So the, the game would have gone on if not for... If not for you guys saving me with uh, that Imperial Basin play. Hey, thanks very much, Sylvain. I appreciate that. Hey, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed that game. How about you, Sylvain? Did you enjoy the game? <laughs> yeah, good. All right, well, if you'd like to be there live for the next game, make sure you follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bludgeon. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel right up there. All right, thanks so much, and see you again soon.